Hey, it's Zach from that one show, and welcome back to Artist of the Week. Um, as you can see, I'm recording this December 1st at like 1 o'clock at night, because everybody's asleep and it's quiet. And I'm also on the floor because I'm lazy and I didn't want to set up the camera high. So, this week is late. I know, I didn't get to finish all of Lil Wayne's albums last week, but that's who we're listening to. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go by album by album. Let's go. Uh, first album, uh, The Block's Hot. Now, Lil Wayne, one of the biggest hip hop artists of the early 2000s, coming right out of the bling era, kind of just completely destroying the genre, completely, not in a bad way, but just coming in, just snow plowing over everybody else. Um,. His first few albums, his first three albums, I would say, kind of low budget, kind of like, kind of sounds like they recorded them in his basement, <laughs> but there's some pretty good songs off here. The first album, uh, The Block is Hot, uh, songs like Fuck the World, and his f hit off of his first album that he just so happened to just get in there, drop it like it's hot, um, pretty good album. Uh, pretty okay album, I'll say. Very average. Uh, just very low quality, low budget. It's the same thing with the next album, Lights Out. Got a song on there. Um, I like Let's Go. And Shine. Shine is an actual banger. That, that song has a really good quality to it. Um, after that, there's songs like uh, the... Oh, the the album, the interlude on those ones are pretty good, like the skits. Um, next album, Five Hundred Degrees. Um, songs like Go Hard and Fuck You. They're pretty. It's all right. Like I said, his first three albums aren't much to remember. He had a few hits, um, but still overall, um, just okay, low quality. And then again, I will say he probably didn't have much money making these albums. After that, we reached the real juicy stuff, like uh, The Carter One. This is a pretty okay album. Um, I like songs like This is The Carter and Ain't That A Bitch. Um, pretty good. Um, the thing is, Lil Wayne's not a great rapper. He's just entertaining to listen to. And that's my problem that gets on later. In Little Wayne albums is he's just not he's not a good rapper he's just fun to listen to um he does show good talent every once in a while especially later when he peaks and I'll talk about that in a bit um so after the Carter one we have the Carter two um songs like uh feel me that's a good song my favorite song off the album, Shooter, which is very calm, laid back, not really expecting that song to be on there. It's definitely the best song off that album. Then we go to the the Carter 3. Hands down, his best album. This is where he peaked. This is it. This is the top for him. The Carter 3 is a very good hip-hop album. Came out perfect time. Uh, when everybody else was kind of, eh, um, some bangers on there, we get the first official Lil Wayne banger, and when I say there's a Lil Wayne banger, it's a good fucking song, because it's just him going off. There's only, like, two more instances I can think of that I have on my list of Lil Wayne bangers, but this one does have one, so songs like, um, Mr. Carter, that's a good song, it's got Jay-Z on it. After that, the first banger, A Millie. That song is really fucking good. That song is always loud in my car. Whenever it comes on, I always turn that shit up because the bass on that song is crazy. It, it, that's just a really good song. He rhymes really well on that song. He has a great flow. He just sounds awesome. Um, after that, there's songs like Dr. Carter. I like that song. I like to tie my hands and Lollipop. They're both... Definitely a little more poppy-esque, but they're still pretty good. After that, we have um, Rebirth. 
that comes after the Carter Three. Um, I don't know who this album was for. It's it's not a very hip hop esque album. It's more of a punk rock album. Like it's kind of like they're trying to do a new metal thing, and I, it's not good. Um, there's a few okay songs at the later end of the album. Um, I like the song with Slim or Eminem. I like Drop the World. I like Knock Out with Nicki Minaj. They're all right. We're starting to get to like very low quality Lil Wayne stuff because Lil Wayne at this point, he's not a good rapper. Okay, I'm gonna just straight up say he's not a good rapper, but he has always been entertaining. He never got boring. His his corny lines, his funny quips, and like it it keeps you listening. After that, we have um, I'm not a human being. That's just a bad album. I don't care. It's bad. Um, I'm single. Uh, that's an okay song off of I'm Not a Human Being. Um, then there's the next Carter, the Carter 4. Um, banger alert again. Little Wayne Banger. Six foot, seven foot. That's another Little Wayne Banger. It's a great song. Um, and then there's two other songs I only really cared about on this album again. Lil Wayne doesn't really put out too much on this album that it's like, wow, he's really good. He's a good rapper. He's like, great. He's still just a mediocre rapper. Just corny lines, funny quips and stuff that keep you listening. Um, the interlude does not have Lil Wayne on it. And it is easily one of the best songs on the album. It has a uh, Tech 9 who spits out some really good bars. And one of my favorite rappers of all time, if you know from... The last episode, uh, Andre 3000, is also on that song with Tech 9 It's a pretty good song, even though it's just an interlude to the next song that is forgettable. It's just how it is. Um, and then there's the outro song that I thought was pretty good. It had Lil Wayne on it, but it had like features up the ass at Bun B. It had uh, Shine, and then the two big boys, Buster Rhymes and Nas. That song's pretty good. I think that song's alright. Um, after that, we have I Am Not a Human Being 2. That's a bad album. It's not good. It's not good. It, there's there's this like, kind of Soldier Boy song on there. Like, Soldier Boy is also just an example of that Little Wayne era of just. He's not good, but he's funny. He's entertaining to listen to it's whatever um after that we have um the album fwa again there's nothing special off this album he's not his albums are getting worse and worse this is why i said he peaked at the carter three because he wasn't putting out anything worthwhile afterwards post bail ballin is okay off that album that's the one song i do remember about him balling when he gets out of prison. He knows he's going to have all that money to come home to. It's whatever. But after that, we have the Carter Five. Next banger coming up with Uproar. That song is a banger. It's great. He shows more good rhymes. It just He always gets one from the Carter Three to the Carter Five on all the Carter albums. He always has... The big banger where he actually puts out some good lyrics. He actually is kind of clever. Because it's not like he doesn't have the talent. It's just, I don't know, he's not that great in the long term. Like, I don't know. Um, after that we have um, Don't Cry. I actually like that song. That's the first song he has featuring X, Tentacion. I'm not a big fan of Extentacion, but he's pretty good at that song. It's honestly really good. And then there's the song Mona Lisa with Kendrick Lamar. I'm a little weird about this song. It's a very over-the-top. Lil Wayne has a very good performance in it. It's very weird, artsy. Kendrick comes in with the most crazy fucking like emotional like, performance I think I've ever heard him have since, like, Good Kid, Mad City, or, um, what was it, the, the one song off T-Pap, 
um, trying to remember what it's called, but, like, he puts out a very emotional performance where he's, like, crying and, like, it, it's, it's a crazy song. Um, I gotta give it another listen. I'm sure that the song will grow on me. I'm a big Kendrick fan. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah, not much more to say about that album. There was a pretty okay album. It was definitely better than the last couple ones. Um... And then there's the last album I'm going to talk about, The Funeral. This was a bad album. It, there were some okay songs on it. Mahogany was okay. Mamma Mia was kind of funny. Other than that, like, in the end, I gotta say, Lil Wayne, I definitely skipped a few albums, by the way, because Spotify is all kinds of fucked up on what, like, an album or a mixtape is. Some of these were mixtapes and not albums. I may have skipped an album just because it's all kind of fucky. Like, a lot of songs repeat on albums and stuff. So, I tried my best with this episode. Um, all in all, Lil Wayne, he's not good. He's not good. He's just entertaining. He's got a few good songs here and there. He's just fun to listen to. Uh, that came in, He kind of blew up in this bling era of hip-hop music. And I really think that's what brought him to the top, because he was the best of the worst, kind of. Not saying that there wasn't any other good people that came out of the playing era, but he's definitely one of the top ones that came out. Well, I'm Zach, from that one show. Um, that's it. Remember to tip your delivery driver. That's all I gotta say about Lil Wayne, and that concludes the Forever series of people. Until I have to go back and review the other two. Because I didn't make episodes in this format on those guys. Well, I'll see you later.